Hi everyone, welcome to the course titled Spring Framework 6 and Spring Boot 3 for beginners. Well, this course also includes simple projects. Well, this course I have designed especially for the beginners who want to learn Spring Framework and Spring Boot from the scratch. Well, in order to learn Spring Boot in depth, you should have a basic understanding of Spring Framework core features, right? So in this course, I am going to cover important Spring Framework core features so that you will learn Spring Boot in depth. Well, what you will learn in this course, you will start with Spring Core Fundamentals like you will learn Spring IOC Container, Java Based Configuration, Annotation Based Configuration, Dependency Injection, Spring Beans and important Spring Core Annotations. Once you are familiar with Spring Core Fundamentals, next you will learn Spring Boot. So you will learn how to build the REST API using Spring Boot, how to build a crude REST API project using Spring Boot. You will learn how to use DTO pattern in a Spring Boot project. You will learn how to use mapping library in a real-time project. Next, you will learn how to handle the exceptions and errors in a REST APIs. Next, you will learn how to implement the validations in Spring Boot project. Next, you will learn Spring Boot actuator. Next, you will learn transaction management. Well, apart from these concepts, I'm going to add a lot of content on Spring Boot in future as well. Next, you will learn Spring Data GPA. Well, you will learn Spring Data GPA basics and you will learn steps to use Spring Data GPA in a Spring Boot application. Next, you will learn Spring Data GPA important methods. Next, you will learn Spring Data GPA query methods. Next, I am going to add a lot of content about Spring Data GPA in this course. Next, you will learn Time Leap. Well, no Time Leap experience is required for this course. I am going to teach you about Time Leap from the scratch. So, you will learn Time Leap basics, Time Leap expressions, attributes, form handling, auto configuration for Time Leap and how to use time leap in a Spring Boot application. Next, you will learn Spring MUC. Well, no Spring MUC experience is required because I am going to teach you how to build Spring MUC web application using Spring Boot, Spring Data GPA, Time Leap and MySQL database. Next, you will learn Spring Security. Well, I am going to teach you how to secure REST APIs, how to secure the web application and you are going to also learn how to create a registration and login project and I want to add a lot of content about Spring Security in this course. Next, you will learn Spring Web Plugs. Well, I am going to teach you how to build crude React to REST APIs using Spring Web Plugs. Next, I am going to also teach you how to write integration testing for React to crude REST APIs. Next, you will learn Docker. Well, Docker is a very essential tool for developers. So, in this course, I am going to also cover about Docker. Like, you will learn how to dockerize the Spring Boot application, how to dockerize Spring Boot MySQL crude application, and how to use Docker Compose to dockerize Spring Boot MySQL code application. Next, let us take a look into the tools and technologies used in this course. Well, we have used Java 17, Spring Framework 6, Spring Boot 3, Thimbleep, Spring Data JPA, Spring Security, Hibernate 6, MySQL Database and MongoDB, Marvin, IntelliJ IDEA, Postman REST Client to test the REST APIs, and Spring Web Plus to build the reactive REST APIs. Well, in this course, I have used IntelliJ IDEA to develop Spring and Spring Boot applications, but you can also use Eclipse STS ID to develop Spring and Spring Boot applications. Next, let us take a look into course requirements or prerequisites. Well, you need to have a good knowledge on Java. No Spring Framework experience is needed because I am going to teach you all about Spring Framework core features. Next, no Spring Boot experience is needed because I will teach you everything about Spring Boot and how to build the Spring Boot projects. Next, no Docker experience is needed because I am going to teach you how to dockerize Spring Boot applications from the scratch. Next, it will be great if you are a little bit familiar using IntelliJ IDEA because we are going to use IntelliJ IDEA ID in this course. Next, no Thimbleap experience is needed because I will teach you Thimbleap fundamentals to build Spring MUC web applications. Alright, so this is a few pieces for this course. Well, this course includes 27 hours of content and I'm going to add a lot of content to this course in future as well. Alright, great. I will see you in the course.